Hello, welcome to Transylvania, Romania. Today I want to talk about uzica or stinging nettles. Um, in the Latin world I think it means I burn. Uh, today we're sitting near some old grandpa nettles. Um, as you can see they're a little bit old. This is not a good time to use them if you want to consume them. These are actually poisonous and can calcify your kidneys. Um, the ideal time to pick stinging nettle for teas or um, tinctures, anything that you're going to consume, is in early spring when they're just little babies. Um, if you do have to pick them now because you're super desperate for some iron, you can take the very top leaves, maybe not of the grandpa nettles, but of like the, the teenage ones or the mama nettles, and you just pinch them off like this. Chink. Um, when they're younger, they don't have um, spiky bits on top. They have the hairs just underneath. So it's perfectly safe to just grab them like this and they won't sting you. Um, I can show you a delicious cold infusion of nettles and honey that I did. This is really high in iron, potassium, magnesium, calcium, all of the things that help women um, absorb iron and it's super delicious and apparently more um, energizing than coffee which is cool. Maybe it doesn't have the come down either. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> um, another cool thing about nettles are the roots and the seeds. You can eat the seeds. They're not exactly ready yet but you don't have to cook them or anything. You just pick them and you eat them. Mm, they are ready. Super delicious. The roots you can powder and use for a tea. Um, I think they're very, very good for men, for testosterone, um, that whole area. Um, and as well for women, I don't know how to explain this, but maybe it's good if you have some sort of problems in your past with men, maybe ingesting this can also like help heal those kind of problems. Um, and something I do to help heal myself, when I get a very sore back, which happens sometimes, it's super bad, I can't stand up properly. Last time I came down here, not to the grandpa, not to the grandpa nettles because these are super powerful, but maybe to like the mama nettles. I grabbed some leaves. Mm. And some nice looking leaves. I don't think it's nice if you put leaves that are kind of scungy on yourself. It might not work very well, the energy. And I go like this. If the pain is around here, I place it here like this. And I push it down. And same here. So like I said before, the little, the little stingy parts are normally on the bottom of the leaves, unless it's a grandpa nettle. And when you move past the feeling of pain, the hot pain that the nettle gives you, you can feel cold needles going into your skin. And you feel like a very big, um, like rush of blood circulation. And I think this really might help stimulate the muscles. I haven't actually researched this, so I don't know if it's good. <laughs> But it made me feel good when I do it. And I think as well in Chinese medicine, um, it's something that they do. I think they actually grab the nettle and they whip themselves with it. I don't know, this might be a rumor. <laughs> it sounds extreme. <laughs> but um, afterwards, I don't know if you can see, maybe not, but there will be like a little rash, red lump, and it will sting for a bit. No, you can't see. But they will come up and depending on your skin type, um, they will last anywhere between like three hours or like maybe 48 hours and I can I can feel where every little hair went and it feels good painful but good <laughs> stimulating um, what else do I want to say yeah I think that's it <laughs> goodbye <laughs>